and he was trying to pull him over to the side, but Kai Rotz just got such heavy top pressure. He was able to shut that down. Again, Akhmatov buries his head in the chest and will, he'll move that head up to the chin, opening up that face as a target. See, Daehwan Kim's looking for the triangle. He's trying to work off his back, but Kairat's just too strong up here. Let's go, let's work, guys. Akhmatov still working hard to dig into the body and the referee asks them to work even harder. There's certainly no lack of effort from Akhmatov and Kim's doing all he can just to hold position. Kim digs in a couple of right hands around the ear area. Entering the final half minute now, this enthralling, engaging 15 minute contest. The, the judges surely will look at Akhmatov as the man who's dominated proceedings. Kim has done well to stay the course, particularly with the facial injuries that he's had to endure. And as we enter the final 10 seconds, we, we end this round exactly the same way we ended the first and second. <laughs> a, a somewhat satisfying symmetry to the end of the three rounds here. And I think it will conclude with Armatov getting his arm raised. Wow, what a dominant performance by Kairat Akhmatov. He showcased every single area in this mixed martial arts battle. He had beautiful striking, great top control, good ground and pound, but also just a beautiful awareness of what was going to happen and what he needed to do to capitalize on the situation. Look at this, take down, transitions to the ground and pound, and then just puts a beating on Daekwon Kim. I am extremely impressed by this performance by Kairat Akhmetov. That up kick happened when Akhmetov had his feet on the ground, so he wasn't down. Kairat ate that, walked right through it, didn't even bother him like a mosquito bite, and started <laughs> pounding on him. Come on, that did nothing. <laughs> well, we think we know who's won but only Dom Lau has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this match was presented to you by Lou Globo. And now, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have called this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the Red Corner, Kyron Akhmatov. Kyron Akhmatov, a clear winner in my book. Great sportsmanship. We're very used to seeing that in the one championship circle, but an all-round performance. Speed of hand, strength of character, strength of body. Overall fitness, accuracy, execution, it was all there, intensity combined. A real Christmas special. Their head kick really was a thing of power. And that's what caused a lot of the damage. First to the nose of Kim, and then between the eyes, dumping his opponent in dramatic style early on in the contest. Coming up, our main event of the evening. It's Muay Thai featherweight style Jamal Yusupov against Sami Sana. Three athletes who share a common trait. Each man faced defeat. Oh, the knee to the head. Oh, that's a big one. He looks to have a deep choke in here. It could be over very quickly. Only to come back stronger than ever. Gets up those left leg is hurt. And you it's going on. Oh, the big come on. And now the aggression. The ground and pound. The good night, Irene. They came multiple time one world champions. But one inside the matrix would test them to their limits. Former one lightweight world champion, Eduard Falayon, stepped up to face multiple-time Brazilian jiu-jitsu champion, Antonio Caruso. But the Filipino 
legend fell short. Antonio Caruso! The same night, Martin Nguyen was set to face the biggest threat to his one featherweight world title reign. Yes! Yes! It's the Tom Lee revelry in Singapore! Just when Nguyen was turning up the heat, Tan now sits on the featherweight throne, and Nguyen finds himself in a familiar position. A position shared by the most iconic fighter on the one roster, Ong La Unsung. Ong La faced a challenger unlike any before in Rainier D. Ritter. Will do it and make good on his promise to crown Ong La. D. Ritter followed through with his promise and took the one middleweight world championship. The world was stunned at the upset, and now Ong La Unsung, Martin Nguyen, and Edward Falayon share a new goal. They have to climb back to the top. Each man has done it before, but can they do it again? Oh, a good hot Singapore evening is always special, but on Christmas Day, even more so. What a country, what a sight for the eyes it is. And we've got a sight for your eyes as well because the featherweight division is absolutely packed. Your champion, Pep Morricot, Pet in the Academy. And we've got the number two and the number four ranked challenges coming up. For your entertainment then, featherweight Muay Thai division. Jamal Yusupov, ranked number two, takes on the fourth ranked Sami Sana. Ranked featherweight contender Sammy Santa prepares for a run at the gold. Ah oui, bien sûr, bien sûr, c'est mon objectif d'avoir la la ceinture du One Championship. Donc je ferai tout pour essayer d'avoir cette ceinture et je l'aurai. The striking superstar proved he's a threat in the featherweight division after ending the seven-year win streak of legendary Yadsen Klai Iway Fairtex. Determined to rise through the stack division to get a shot at the world title. Santa will dig deep and rely heavily on his Muay Thai roots. Je vais prouver sur le combat du One, sur mon prochain combat, que je suis un des tops de la catégorie et que ça va être très 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 dur de me passer et que euh, c'est moi le, le vrai champion du One Championship de ma catégorie. Representing France and Algeria, Sammy. AK-47 Sana! AK-47, 1.9 meters tall, 32 years old, has a 135, 13 and 2 record. How about the purposefulness with which he's coming down that ramp? Born and raised in Paris, France, the son of Algerian immigrants. All action, high level, white eye coming your way, Mitch. Yes, yeah, Sammy Sana throws knees with ill intent. They are battering rams. He closes the distance so well, and his knees are incredibly long. I think his range from his hip to his knee is long as my hip to my foot. He has incredibly long thighs, and he knows how to use them superbly well. Because they are just battering rams. Look how long his thighs are. They're incredibly long. And they just do so much damage. But also, he's got an incredible boxing style, punishing kicks, and just a fluid movement that makes him so very dangerous. I love watching Sammy Sana fight. And I love talking to him as much as I love watching him. And he was so confident in his game plan against Yusupov. He wants to punish Yusupov in every single area. But to do that, he needs to avoid Avoid those hands, Steve. Sammy Sada, brought to you by Mitch Chilson. Yeah, he's rangy, yeah, he's tall. He's very, very exciting. Three three-minute rounds, the 10-point muscle system. Three knockdowns, by the way, in a single round represents a technical knockout. So watch out for that. But just a reminder that the judges will look at this round by round. The winner of each round will get 10 points. The loser, something less, usually nine. Sammy Sana, representing Paris, France.
in the One Championship Circle. Я настроен на победу. Этот бой, конечно, для меня главный, потому что Самисан как бы хороший боец, как бы уверен в себе, нету никакого давления, нету. Я наоборот, это будет, конечно, еще один этот уже ближе к поясу. Выиграть его, это для меня будет тоже нормально. Честно сказать, я бы хотел вот за пояс по тайскому боксу этим пичмараку там драться. Jamal Yusupov, 37 years old, from Beijing, China, the youngest of nine sons in a farming family, a very powerful southpaw. Both of these men have beaten Yudsa Klai. Yusupov took that contest at 10 days' notice, Mitch. Yeah, and it was the way that he got it done against Yod. That left hand is a sledgehammer, Steve Dawson. Look at it. Oh, man. Let's see that again. Oh, did it again. Oh, wow. Just so much power. I was talking to Yusupov this week, and I was like, tell me about the game plan. What do you want to do in there against Santa? He looks me dead in the eyes and goes, hands. Just hands. And that's his plan. He likes to put hands on people, and he does so with such an intensity about it. He's trying to put your lights out with every single shot that he throws. I was fascinated listening to you off air, telling me how these two athletes beat Yotsen Klai in different ways. What were the differences? You know, Sammy Sana picked him apart. He used that range very well, stayed away from the danger, picked him apart, utilized those knees, showcased good movement, and just outworked Yotsen Klai away fair text. But Yusupov went right after Yod, hurt him at the first round, and kept touching him with that left hand until the mighty Yod finally fell. And we saw it in that highlight package. Hats off to the director. It was a beautiful beautifully timed left hand and that's what he wants to do against Sana. He wants to get away from that range and put hands on him. But when you're away from Sammy Sana's range, you enter that battering ram of a knee range and you put yourself at risk. So it's going to be very interesting to see how these two implement their game plans. All right, so beautifully set up, Mitch. I think we all understand what we've got coming our way. I think we all understand that we shouldn't be going anywhere. Sana against Yusupov, Muay Thai, featherweight division. Five years, the difference. Yusupov, the older man, he's considerably shorter. Russia against France and Algeria. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Three rounds of three minutes in a one featherweight Muay Thai contest. Our three judges scoring this bout at circle side are Rosenberg Rossetti of the Philippines, Brad Robinson of the USA, and Thomas Ginberg of Sweden. This match is presented to you by Food Panda. Food and more delivered. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he is a two-time Muay Thai and kickboxing world champion and the number four featherweight contender, standing at 190 centimeters tall, holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 135 wins and 13 losses. Training out of Phoenix Muay Thai Paris and Venom Training Camp Thailand... Representing France and Algeria. Stepping into action is Sammy, AK-47, Sana. And 
introducing his opponent out of the red corner. He is a three-time Russian kickboxing champion and the number two featherweight contender. Standing at 176 centimeters tall, holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 52 wins and nine losses. Training out of boxing and GOG fighting. Representing Russia. Get ready for Jamal Hira Yusupov. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Olivier Cost. Hi right, guys, watch out for the headbutt in the back of the head. Three rounds, Muay Thai rules. When I ask you to stop, you stop. Okay? When I ask you to break, clean break. Okay? Third row if you want, and back your corner. You may have unwrapped all of your Christmas gifts, but perhaps the best of all is still to come right here in the one championship circle. Sana right, catch, against Yusupov. Catch, catch time! Ready? Ready? Choo! Our main event of the evening. Olivier Kost gets everything started. They touch gloves in the center of the circle. These two rangy men, so destructive as we've seen. How will they apply themselves over the next nine minutes or so? What a way to finish the very best time of the year. Man, Steve, this is such an intriguing matchup. We got four against two in the main event. One of these guys is going to be knocking on the door of a title matchup. Nice leg kicks landed by Yusupov as he tries to lunge in with that left hand. Lunge is the word. He really threw that one and put his entire body weight behind it, but it was well blocked by Sana, who stands quite a bit taller, and as long as he keeps that high guard, will be in good shape to block some of those punches. And that one he didn't manage to block, though. Left hand caught him flush on the jaw. Didn't have everything behind it. Love the noises that we're getting in this stadium as these slaps and slams reverberate around this superb facility. I like how Yusupov's opening up with these leg kicks. It's also setting up that left hand. You can see Sana's oh nice straight left to the body. Oh, and he sweeps the leg and lands on his backside. I was going to say the balance of Sana is being disrupted by these leg kicks. So there was a moment ago when Sana was on one leg and Yusupov absolutely drilled him looking for the sweep and he just stayed totally solid. So I'm a little bit surprised that he did succumb that time. Slamming in that forehand Sama. And Yusupov comes right back though. But you can see how Sun is keeping that left hand so tight to his head. He knows what Yusupov's weapon is. Sun is also really strong inside that clinch. Just over 50 seconds left of this opening round. Three by three for you. Yusupov gives Sun a little nod there. Oh, right hand comes right over the top of the left. And that left from Yusupov comes from the south four stance currently. So that's the bigger of the, the two punches, the bigger of the two hands that he can throw. And there's a great example. Stop Sana in his tracks. He was rocked backwards. That left hand. Ladies and gentlemen, Sana's got to keep that guard up nice and tight. He's got to be care very, very careful when he enters that pocket. Yeah. That left hand seemed to land on the chin and then just vibrate all the way down to the toes. But Sana is a gangster. He will eat that left hand and throw right back. Very decent opening round. These two both getting off big shots. Six minutes to come. And there were some big exchanges in that opener. Yeah, look at this. Catches the kick and goes right to the body. I like how he mixes up his targets. He's going after the legs and the head. Here's Sammy Sana doing a little bit of good work as he marches forward. We got to see Sana be aggressive. He cannot stand at the edge of these shots. Here's a beautiful little catch as Sana tries to go for one. Touches Yusupov on the side of the head. Yusupov gets a little bit rocked. Listening intently to their corner man. 
Six minutes of action. Ready? Ready? Round two. It does go to say that this is Yusupov's first time competing inside the circle. He's never been, you know, surrounded with, you know, not being in a ring before. So he's adjusting very well. He likes to corner his opponents usually. There aren't any corners in a circle, of course. It's a different shape. It's a different size. And follows it up with a right, and you can see that Sana is certainly getting caught. He's not managing to just parry these blows. He's also therefore demonstrating a good chin and a good stomach, by the way, because he's taking a couple of really hefty blows to the bread basket. Nearly went down with that sweeping attack. Oh, 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 that left hand brushed the face of Sana. Had it landed just a little more flush. It's been over. Yeah, Yusupov's definitely trying to test that chin of Sana, but so far Sana's hanging in there. But you cannot eat too many of these. I love the way that Yusupov's chopping at that lead leg of Sana. I like to see Sana counter that. He knows he's going for the side leg. Just come right straight through the middle with that right hand. Yes! Sana's got to push forward. Get Yusupov on his back foot. The straight left from Yusupov are damaging enough, but when he puts an arc to those punches, they can just unleash all sorts of terror. Stop, stop, Rick. Olivier Cost separates these two, puts them into the center of the circle. Both men looking fairly light on their feet, but Yusupov particularly so. Or oh, good, right, left, right. Nice, from Sami Sana. Free combination landed by AK-47. There it is again. Just a little bit off the target. Yusupov is so fast with those <laughs> hands, Steve. Swinging right hand. The fire is so delightful from these two. There's that right jab. Lance Flush and the right hand from Sana. In reply, superb counter punch. Sana comes again with the big right hand. Just when you think it's going Yusupov's way, Sana comes back with the big shots. That's when he's coming forward. He does his best work when he's going forward. But when he allows Yusupov to march forward and dictate the pace, that's when he's on the back foot. He can't allow that to happen. Oh, beautiful combination. Great. Jab up top, body shot. Those were the hands you were talking about doing the damage.